jump this way. Come on. Come on. Mama, come here. What did your mother show you? What, what is it that your mother has showed you? Oh my God. Huh? You're saying what? She showed me prayer. I can't hear you. Prayer. What is that your mother has showed you? Prayer. Prayer? Yeah. But are you pray? Oh Lord. You know? Are you praying? Oh. Because your mother has told you that if you don't pray, the spirits of this family <laughs> will attack you. You know, you're doing the opposite of what your mother has told you. It's true, sir. Huh? It's true. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I want to pray to people quickly and pass. Mm, but I true. feel like your matter is serious. <laughs> you know, your, your mother has told you if you don't pray, the spirit of this family will attack you. It's now you are, you are doing the opposite of what mama has told you. It's true. Huh? It's true, sir. Huh? Why are you not believe in God? You believe in people now. Uh, mama, why do, if my mother teaches me prayer, why do I leave prayer and start to believe in people? Yeah. Huh? It's true. I want God to help you. Let's not believe people. Let's believe Jesus. Amen. You hear me? Yeah, There's man. no people that will help us. And now you are sick now. <laughs> now you are sick now, very sick. And now this sickness is trying to make you to get help from even wrong places. Uh, In Jesus' name. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Come on. Ushers, you usher to not someone must not fall. You don't usher, you don't block a person. Oh, oh in the name of Jesus. If mama shows you prayer, say, come here. You go there. Mama say, ah, please pray. Managa pray. Don't ever do anything like the way this family is doing. When you forget, you relax nicely, you fold your hands like this. What happened to this woman? Now there's attack, there's attacks everywhere. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, Where is your husband? At home. Huh? With another. Because your husband doesn't want you anymore. Yeah, that's true. What? It's true. That's what I'm saying. That Mama say, hey, wait now. Pray that you must not go through the case of the family. Ah, you forget to pray. You relax. Now your husband doesn't want you, Mama. She was a woman who believed in prayer. She was a pastor. Huh? She was a pastor. She was a pastor. Let's clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> you, you heard what I said to her. What is it that Mama has showed you? you know, it's a very awkward question. What is it that Mama has showed you? Mama called her. Put her down. Mwanaka, my, my child. Please believe in prayer. If you don't believe in prayer, your family will be, everything will be attacked. You will be followed by the spirits of these people. She did the opposite. God loves you. Eh? Thank you. Thank don't you. kneel down. Don't kneel down. Don't kneel down. God loves you. Thank you. God loves you, Mama. My mother died last year. And oh, she can you hear me. that? <laughs> Thank you. Can you hear that? Thank you. And you hear that? And the mama died last year. You know? 
Now she's starting to think about Mama now, what Mama said, because things are going southward. Things are going the other way. Now my, mo my own mother told me, nine, nine, when she was sick, she said, hold God and you will never be lost. I said, okay. I decided to hold God until today. Now, now your husband doesn't want you. It's true. Uh, it's true. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You want God to restore your house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't, don't kneel down. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, she's kneeling down again, this woman. Uh, this is a, a very good woman. Let me touch you. May God restore your house. In Jesus' mighty name. Just free. Uh, because of time. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for what He has done for me this week. Last Sunday, um, Last Sunday, I was situated somewhere there. And then Prophet Andris, Prophet Andris came to me and prayed for me. And then he was stopped by Mabari. He stopped and stood and said, And then Mabari, What is it that your mom told you? Nendari, did she ever come and do one thing? Then I got uh, the situations I will always tell my mother about my own situations that what I said. And then there was only, and only one thing she will tell me, let's go and pray. Always in the situation if you are When I come with any situation, she will say, Let's go and pray. And then Prophet Andres last week in Sunday Sunday when he asked me, I was very sure. My mom was always speaking about prayer. And then my prayer was starting to be weak. And then I could feel or hear spiritually myself that I'm and, going down. And then he will always say there are spirits that want to attack the family. And then he will always say those Now, because we are not prayerful, those spirits are coming closer and closer. And then my mom was an, a person of prayer. All the time at in church because she was a pastor. So Prophet Andres prayed for me last week. And then I went home. I sat down and I said to myself, I must start my own problem program of prayer. Then I started midnight 12 o'clock. I woke up and started praying. During the afternoon 12 o'clock I'll be praying. In the evening I'll also pray. When I wake up I'll pray. I did what I did the whole week. Thursday, eleven Thursday, eleven o'clock in the evening. One of my brothers called me. And it's long he hasn't been calling me. He called and said, my sister is ask, asking for advice. I said, let us talk. Uh, he started explaining. While he was talking, it was like, he was saying goodbye. 
He was saying my own things are ending right here. I'm asking you to be left with my children. He's going home. There are a lot of problems in the family. Now the problems have reached a, a space where he feels like he has hidden the wall. So I didn't accept I denied a lot when I was speaking with him. He was saying, I'm going home to shoot my wife and myself. So I just felt in my heart it's a suicidal spirit. I started then praying during I the night. I didn't sleep the whole night. I was praying. I woke up in the morning, did the same. When I called, I heard him say, I'm on the way going home. I said, now this one needs God himself. So I will pray calling even the uncle said to me. My uncle, one of the uncles says he's going home at that time. They blocked him. I don't know how it happened. I saw that it was because of the end of God. They blocked him and spoke with him until he came back to his own senses. When I then called in the evening, he was sitting with his wife and children. They were happy and they were speaking together. I thank God that I came to church and the pastor spoke with me. I thought he was speaking about me. Even my family. They were also speaking about my brothers. I thank the Lord because now I experienced the truth in prayer. I started waking up since that day. I really thank the Lord for the grace and the hand of the Lord upon my life. Let us clap our hands.